So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and then type in remote desktop connection. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you're gonna click on show options and then you'll click on the experience tab. So now once you're in here, you wanna make sure you have reconnect if the connection is dropped, selected. So you wanna tick this and then you'll click on connect. And now obviously you're gonna to have to put in all these details right here, but just make sure that under experience, you have reconnect if the connection is dropped, selected. Now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and then type in edit group policy. Click on it. I'm just gonna make this bigger. And now once you're on this, under computer configuration, you want to expand administrative templates. Expand this. Make sure that you're doing it under computer configuration and not under user configuration. And now you want to expand Windows components. And now you want to scroll down and expand remote desktop services. Here it is, you want to expand remote desktop services. I'm just going to move this over here. And now you want to expand remote desktop session host. And now you want to click on security. You want to left click on the security folder and then all this will appear on the right hand side. And now once you're on this, you want to double click on require use of specific security layer for remote RDP connections. Double click on this one. And now you want to set this to enabled and then make sure that you have the security layer on RDP and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in view advanced system settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on the remote tab. And now you want to select allow remote connections to this computer. You want to tick this and then you want to untick this one under right here. Allow connections only from computers running remote desktop of network level authentication. So you want to untick this one and then you'll click on OK. And now you should have restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.